The Minnesota Masonic Children's Clinic for Communication Disorders presents Tips from Tamara. Hello, today we're going to talk about gifts that facilitate movement that you can add language to. So movement or allowing children to move is engaging and leads to more language and learning. So I have some things that we use here at the clinic that hopefully don't take up too much space but allow for getting the wiggles out, energy, engagement between a caregiver and a child, especially during the months where in, in winter, where we live in Minnesota, we don't always get a chance to get our little ones outside. So, some things that we can do are a trampoline, where you can hold their hands and say, jump, 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 and count how many times you jump, um, take turns. Another little trick that I always love to do is put something on the trampoline and then go underneath it and pop it up. And so it's a great cause and effect toy. Something that you might already have in your house, a chair, either on wheels or without wheels. We can give kids rides, ready, set, go, uh -oh! or just slide. A blanket you might already have in your house. You can play peekaboo. Or if you have another, if you have two people, you have the child lay on the blanket, pick it up, pick him up and go swing, 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 down. This works probably best on a bed. But kids, some kids really enjoy being wrapped up in a blanket like a little taco. So that's something you might already have in your home. Something that doesn't take up too much space, a bean bag. Some fun games is you can run and crash into the bean bag. You can squish somebody in a bean bag, tickle them, use this as a comfy, cozy reading spot. Uh, play hide and seek or peekaboo with this as well. Another game or movement toy is some sort of ball. So this is a peanut ball, and a child can sit on it in the middle, and you can bounce with them. You can have them roll on their bellies. You can have, this is a great, this is a great um, toy to add music to. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Just know that when you do these kinds of activities, we want them to be on their level. Because if you're way up here, or if you're behind them, or they're not getting that enga engagement with you about what words you're saying or doing. Another one is a swing. So you can use regular park swings, or this one is a swing from Ikea, but anything that you can put, put in, and you can do one, two, three, go! And of course you can be face to face with them. You can do stop, go, fast, slow, and that can be a really fun. And then you can use a sled. Now you think of a sled as being an outside toy, which it's great. You can do the same kinds of things with the swing. Uh, ready, set, go, fast, slow. But you can also, if you have a long hallway or um, in your house, you can do the sled in the hallway. You can put little stuffed animals on it and have them give rides to decide who's going in the sled. So it can be fun and engaging and movement that they might really thrive, and thrive on and need. So I hope you like these tips.